Hello everyone, today I think I had the dumbest video idea I've ever had. And that is that I'm going to be ranking on a tier list how good grass looks in every mainline Sonic game. So let me lay down some ground rules. First of all, I'm only picking one stage from each game because I don't want to be doing this for like 12 hours. And there are certain cases where I will include moss as grass. Because while they're different, sometimes there just isn't a good case of grass in that entire game, and the stage in question might look so much better than the rest of the game, you get my point. I'm going to count moss in certain situations. So, let's get on into it. And obviously, to kick things off, we have Sonic 1 with Green Hill. I really like how this stage looks when it comes to the grass because we can see that obviously the ground has this tile checkerboard effect on it. But what I find interesting is that the grass that hangs over the top doesn't align perfectly with this checkerboard, which you might think sounds like a criticism, but I actually really like it. It makes it feel a lot more natural and not synthesized. It's a very, very cool effect. It's such a small detail, but it ends up making the grass actually look really good and very natural appearing. So, Green Hill, starting off with a banger, gotta give it an A tier. Next up, Sonic 2, and I kid you not, I'm going for Hilltop. The grass may look virtually the same in comparison to Emerald Hill, but I just think Hilltop is such a more appealing level. I really love the color palette here. Something of note is that the grass overhang is way taller in comparison to Sonic 1, which I kind of like. You can also see that the shadow under the overhang of the grass has way more detail put in to it. If you just look at Sonic 1, it's like, whoa there, it's just one basic shadow, which looks fine, but seeing it now, this looks way better. So, gotta give Hilltop an S tier for grass. Next up is Sonic CD Palm Tree Panic, the past variant specifically. While Sonic CD has some absolutely amazing environments, this game looks really, really good. I gotta be honest, when it comes to grass, it's not exactly the greatest. Palm Tree Panic's grass has this weird overly pixelated effect. Like, why are these just big rectangles? It's not detailed at all. You could argue this is a stylistic choice, but I don't don't know, I just frankly think it looks pretty bad. It just looks undetailed, almost unfinished. And while the past color palette may be more desaturated, I am quite a fan of it in comparison to the present and bad future variants. We don't really talk about that though. While I love how Sonic CD looks, this game don't exactly got it when it comes to grass. Gotta give it a C tier. Next up, we have Sonic 3 with Angel Island. Oh my gosh. This is, this is awesome, dude. The sheer amount of detail here is honestly insane insane. Shading has gotten a huge bump to where it doesn't look like a drop shadow anymore. No, it's like the shading actually interacts with the terrain below. Like, it genuinely looks like that's actually there. It doesn't look like an effect anymore. It almost looks like real in the sense of pixel art, obviously, but you get my point. We can also see that the grass has some really nice looking highlights to give it just that extra spice on top. So Sonic 3 absolutely nailed this. Easy S tier. Next up, we got Sonic Adventure, and I gotta give it to Windy Valley. This was already a really good looking stage from this game, and I think the grass looks great too. Now looking at this game, you can definitely tell it's the first 3D Sonic game. It's not exactly super polished or has the most detail in its environments, but I think what they were going for was really cool. I love this path section, and I like that there's a pretty solid transition between that and the main grass. Even though there's some obvious texture stretching, and it's not exactly the greatest, it's still solid stuff. So, I don't hate it, but it's not exactly good, so I'm gonna have to give it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be harsh, and I'm gonna give it a C tier. Moving on to Sonic Adventure 2, we have Dry Lagoon. Now, this is one of those cases where I had to just end up settling for moss, because this level looks so much better than any level with grass. I really love how this level looks in general, and the grass just looks awesome. So, I gotta give it an A tier. It's not perfect, but I think it was definitely a huge step up from Sonic Sonic Adventure. Next up, we have Sonic Heroes, and while I despise this game, I do like some of the colorful environments it goes for, and Seaside Hill is one of those. I really do love the arrows in the grass. That's such a cool effect. I really do like that. And I think, honestly, it's shockingly detailed. And I think a lot of the transitions between materials look really good. There's a lot more detail in this compared to even at the adventure games. I think they put a lot of detail into this. But I wouldn't say that it's one of the highlights of the 
series when it comes to grass. It looks good and I think that they did a lot of work on it, but it's not exactly the greatest and I just am not a huge fan of the oversaturated and overly contrast look of Sonic Heroes, so I gotta give it a B. Moving on to Shadow the Hedgehog, and I gotta give this one to Prison Island. While this isn't really grass either, once again, man, this level looks phenomenal, dude. Shadow the Hedgehog was already the pinnacle of Sonic graphics before going into the 360 era, so this game already has a lot of great visuals, and man, does Prison Island show that off. Not only does the whole stage look amazing, you can also see that on the ground there is some great, great moss and grass, and it's all very detailed and transitions perfectly into the concrete and metal materials. So, I don't know how much of a hot take this is, but I'ma just go crazy. I'ma give this an S. This just looks beautiful, dude. I love how this game looks, man. Now jumping headfirst into the Xbox 360 generation of Sonic games, we have Sonic 06, and I gotta give this one to, obviously, the GOAT, Kingdom Valley. While 06 does have a lot of moments where the textures look really, really bad, and every Everything just looks sloppily put together, just because, I mean, that's what 06 is as a product. There are some times where it actually all comes together, and you can see that, you know, there was a lot going for it visually. And King the Valley, in some places, is a great example of that. Right when you spawn in the level, there's a lot of stuff to look at. Once you get a little later in, you can look, okay, like... This don't look so hot, but man, right at the start, this is some great looking grass. I do wish that it was consistently this good throughout the whole stage, but it doesn't really look too terrible in the scheme of things. But yeah, I just gotta give it credit. This level looks absolutely amazing when it needs to for some reason, but when it does, it is an easy S tier. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give it that because Kingdom Valley is the GOAT. Next up, we have Sonic Unleashed. Now, the only real level I could give this to is obviously Windmill Isle Act 1, pretty much, because that's the only one that mainly has grass in it, and it looks really, really good. While I know this is more of a technical issue, I do find it a little annoying how obvious the grass pop-in is. Not like they could really do much about it, but it does kind of make it look worse, if you know what I'm saying. But overall, this level looks really, really good, but I feel like I find, I find the environment a lot less interesting in comparison to like 06 or Prison Island or whatever. I just find it less interesting. I'm gonna have to settle with a really solid A tier. Next, we have Sonic Colors The Goat. This game is so flipping good. I will glaze this game forever, I swear. And of course, the best level is obviously Planet Wisp. This stage is just honestly beautiful in every way, and the grass is Wow, there is a lot of grass. Like, wow, like I'm, I'm genuinely shocked they could pack this much detail and this much full feeling grass and just nature scenery onto the Wii. Like that is mad impressive. So easy, easy S tier. Like, you know, you know what, we're S plus tier. I'm put, I'm, I'm doing it, I'm, I'm going there. S plus tier. Now this next one, I could technically not include it, but I decided to include it and we have Sonic Generations. Now, I hate to mention the same zone twice, but once again, we have Planet Wisp because Planet Wisp is just that goaded easy S tier. I honestly can't lie, I don't think it looks as good as the one in colors. I don't know if it's something to do with the shading or it not feeling as vibrant. I, I don't know. Something about the Wii Sonic colors just is visually more appealing to me. Next, we have that Sonic game that everyone wants to forget about, Sonic Lost World. And I obviously have to give it to Windy Hill. I mean, I don't really have anything else to give it to, to be honest. While I don't think Lost World is a bad looking game, I must be honest, I really think it's not that appealing when you use the same PNG for every single individual blade of grass. Like, I get it was going for a more cartoony style and whatever, but it just doesn't look good. There's a difference between simple and cartoony and just being boring. There's a large difference. I will say I do kind of like the tiled look where you can see the different shades of green. That's a cool effect, I won't lie. But saying all that, it still really isn't anything crazy, so 
I just gotta give it a B. Next is Sonic Twitter's worst nightmare, even though it's seven years old. Oh my gosh, guys, please, it, like, can we move on now? Sonic Forces Green Hill, yay. While I don't despise forces or anything, and I think that it looks really, really good in some contexts, this isn't yeah. one of them. Green Hill is just Generations assets with a sand PNG slapped on it. It's not really that interesting. And the grass in particular just, I don't know, for like such a large difference in time and literally the next yeah. console generation. I don't know. I would expect a little more from it visually. No, it's just, it's just Jen's assets again. So gotta give it a C tier. And finally, to cap off our list, we have Sonic Frontiers, and I gotta give it to Kronos Island. While Frontiers isn't exactly, you know, the most visually appealing game at all times, I think Kronos overall is a good looking island, and the grass is obviously most of the island, so I have to say, it looks quite good. I do have to say, I think they did a pretty good job of making the grass feel pretty varied, you know, not just too copy and paste. Obviously, it's still just grass, so it can't be that crazy, but hey, so while it isn't exactly great or even really that good, I think it looks, you know, pretty solid for what it's trying to do. So gonna give it a B tier. So there it is. That is my ranking of grass in Sonic games. Don't ask me why I had this video idea. I... I don't know if I'm getting bored or if I'm going insane. It's probably one of those two. So looking at my list here, I invite you to comment down below. Do you disagree with me or do you just want to call me a madman for making this video in the first place? Those are fair responses, respectively. So uh, jokes aside, I do hope all of you have a great rest of your day. God bless.